Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the PMDT Buyers Club. I'm talking to, to you today about Uber Tees. So I've got two teas here. One is a seasonal Uber, one is a non-seasonal. So I'll be telling you a bit about Uber Tea, having a go at the seasonal, having a go at the non-seasonal, what brings about the season and why it's really special. And if you haven't tried seasonal, genuine seasonal Uber Tees, this is what you've got to be trying. You've got to be trying this out. Um, so, first of all, what is Uber? Uber is one of Sri Lanka's seven tea growing regions. It is found on the eastern side of the island um, and it is one of the regions, it's one of two regions on the island that get a seasonal quality season during the months of July to August, traditionally. And I say traditionally because you've got a lot of climate change happening. So what traditionally is meant to happen tends not to happen. I think we've seen that this year where um, it's been very dry on the west while it's also been dry on the east and now it's raining cats and dogs. So, you know, it, and, uh, you know, so traditionally speaking, Uber teas come into season in the months of July to August. Uber is quite a large region. Uh, it has tea estates that are medium grown. It has tea estates that are high grown. And north of Uber, in the next region up from that, is Udupusalawa. So if you'd like to try some Udupusalawa teas, you can check out High Forest Estate which also makes Udpus, uh, which is from Udpus. But here we're talking about Uber. Uber teas make seasonal tea in the months of July to August. I've got two tea estates to show you what the real difference is. On one side, I've got Glenelur Estate. This is a non-seasonal Uber after the season finished. And this is from St. James Estate that was picked at the height of season, um, which is a flavory tea, very limited quantity. I think we've only got about 100, 200 pouches uh, that are on the website. We've got a small amount reserved out for, uh, for the commercial business, mainly going off to one customer, but very, very special tea. Not that this isn't special, but you, you can make this relatively throughout the year. This, not just in that period, sometimes you miss a season. So what happens in Uber? Essentially what happens is you have a drought that kicks in in the month of July, and that drought carries on and it peaks into August when you have a wind that comes in from the northeast of the country. It comes in from the northeast of the country, it blows into the Uber Valley, it hits the, the, the tea estates of Uber, and any moisture that's left on the leaf is essentially evaporated away. So the concentration of flavor that you find in those top two leaf in a bud that you pick when you make tea is very, very concentrated. When you pick that leaf and you produce it, you know, you change your manufacturing methods, you don't put as much pressure on a roller. In fact, the types of leaf styles that are traditionally produced on estates also change as well. When you change your manufacturing methods and you manufacture well, you can capture this uber seasonal flavor. What is this uber seasonal flavor? What is it all about? Well, it is this aroma, this big wintergreen mentholated aroma. It is so unique that this is the only place on earth that produces teas of this aroma. It, I mean, you can have a block nose and you can smell this tea. It's so pungent, it's so strong, this mentholated, what we call wintergreen note, this wintergreen note that you want, you will only find it in one place on earth and that is the Uber region of Sri Lanka. Whereas here, if I take this non-seasonal Uber tea, very plain, very ordinary, not bad, it's not smoky, but I mean, you don't need to have a great sense of smell. You can have a block nose and you can just get a whiff of that aroma. You don't even need to smell it. I can smell that from here. You know, I can smell the winter green flavor coming off that tasting cup just from here. Whereas here, you've really got to get your nose into it. And this is a nice flavor. This is a nice aroma tea but it doesn't have that wintergreen quality. Wintergreen quality teas only happen in this, in this small window, and it doesn't happen every year. And you don't always get a great year. For example, I remember in 2018, we bought some great, great teas. What was it, 2017? One of the two, 2017 or 2018, we bought some great teas, and then we had the next year's uh, crop of tea that came in. And when we tasted it side by side, even after keeping this tea for a year, even after one whole year of it sitting, you know, you want to have your tea fresh, sitting for a year in stores, when we taste it against the new samples that came out, 
they were far, far better the previous year than, than that particular season. And why is that? Some of you will be wondering. Well, you might not have as much, uh, much, much uh, wind. You know, the thrust of the wind won't be there. It might not be as dry. There are a plethora of factors that really affect how good an Uber season is. But essentially, you want it to be very dry, very windy, and you want to have cold nights. Very important to have cold nights when you manufacture tea. If you want to know why, hit the link in the uh, in, in in this video. I'll drop a link into manufacturing. Tea, our, our, our five part blog article, you'd have a look there. Let's have a taste of these teas. Let's try the non seasonal Luba first because if I taste this, it's definitely going to coat, coat my mouth. Let's have a taste here. This is from Glenonora Estate, which is in, in, in Hapudale. This is a nice tea. This is a really nice tea, actually, when you taste it. This is the first time I'm actually tasting this plain. Mm. This is a nice tea. This is non-seasonal uber, easy drinking, you know, easy drinking, quite sappy on the note, very, you know, almost like a black currant that's very jammy. It's a very nice tea. This is a nice tea that you could sit down and you could pleasantly enjoy. I wouldn't put milk in it. This is an FBOP leaf. I wouldn't put milk in this. Very nice tea. Seasonal Uber, this is from St. James Estate. Now, when we were trying out Ubers at the height of the season, we tried out some of the top names, Ace Libby, Uber Highlands, some of the, some of the higher, higher up ones, and they really were hitting some quality. And what we felt was, we went back to an estate that we've always gone to, it just crops up, I think our customers like it, we like it, and it tends to make quite uh, a nice Uber that's not too mentholated, not overly men mentholated, um, and it's a really nice introduction if you're trying Uber teas for the first time. And that is St. James Estate in Haliella. Mm. What a wonderful tea. What a wonderful tea. Big, big mentholated flavor on your tongue. Massive wintergreen note coming through. If you draw in some air, even afterwards, a very cool minty flavor that sits in your mouth. Now, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. However, if you want to expand your tea palette, if you want to know what Uber teas are, go out and try this tea. This really is an exercise in, in expanding your palette and finding something new. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. It really, it really is for the connoisseur. Mm. But what a wonderful tea. Japanese buyers flood Colombo. Um, around August time, because all of these teas will only come through private sale. There's no way any of this makes it out to an auction floor. It's just too special. They will flood Colombo to buy these teas, and the more mentholated they are, the more they like it. This is the type of tea that you could just sip at any time of day. Strong, minty, wintergreen, bit of astringency to it. I would have this tea plain. I wouldn't put any milk in this. I wouldn't put any lime in this. I wouldn't put any honey in this. I would have this tea plain. But what I would pair this up to is certain foods. So if you've got dark chocolate, have a piece of dark chocolate with this tea. It will pair exceptionally, exceptionally well. Um, it needs strong, bold flavors that, that can stand up to this. This is a tea to really enjoy with, uh, with something like dark chocolate, with other strong flavored foods but it's a tea to enjoy by yourself. It's a tea that if you haven't tried, you definitely want to try it. It's a tea, if you have tried in the past and you've liked it, it's one to go and buy pretty quickly because we've got very limited supply of this and it will get sold and we will only have it till next year. And that's if the season comes in. So that's all we've got today. Season louvers, check them out. Check out the St. James.